talk about people who have revealed their true colors with us last month with the President Trump impeachment hearings. Let's talk about Beth Moore, Southern Baptist preacher advocating for the removal of the president by giving a hats off to Christianity Today. Christianity Today is a publication that was started by Billy Graham way back when. Even uh, his son, Franklin Graham, has denounced the magazine for advocating that it would be good to impeach President Trump. President Trump has been our most solid ally for the unborn of any president ever. And Beth Moore denouncing President Trump by saying that uh, hats off to Christianity Today for glorifying President Trump's impeachment is showing her true colors. I know that she wanted to put lipstick on the face of evangelism. What she wants to do is because she's a Southern Baptist preacher and she's a woman, is she wants to take us into the pit where the rest of the people are going to hell. Anyway, Beth Moore, not an ally. Maybe Alex Kendrick wants to choose uh, not to have her in any more movies. She was pretty good in the movie War Room, but um, not a Christian. Let's talk about Senator Mitt Romney from Utah, supposedly the Church of uh, Christ of Latter-day Saints. I don't agree with the Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints, but I do agree that most of the Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints is for the unborn, is for life in a big way. So I don't understand why he's going against his church. He's going against the voters of his state by voting to impeach, to convict President Trump on the impeachment trial. He has actually showed his true colors, and I always knew that he can't become Massachusetts governor without being a Democrat. He was a fake Democrat, so we know now that he is a rhino. He's not a real ally of the unborn. And he's kind of a weasel and kind of a spoiled baby. He didn't get what he wanted, so now he's going to diss on President Trump. He's a career politician. He is not your friend. Let's talk about Ralph Northam from Virginia. Um, he can't remember if he wore the black face or if he was in the KKK outfit. He also stated that uh, if a baby were to survive an abortion, they leave the baby on the table and uh, have a discussion to determine if the baby lives or not. Meaning a live person laying there in a, in a clinic or a hospital, or probably a clinic because it's an abortion clinic, deciding whether the baby should live or die. They don't get to make that choice. Yet Governor Northam thinks that they can. Uh, things are getting so evil and you know the Second Amendment thing aside that Governor North was trying to do he is not your friend he is not your friend people of Virginia <laughs> I can't believe you still have him as your governor he should have been impeached a long time ago for violating the Constitution two places of violating the Constitution one place uh, violating the Second Amendment the freedom of the right to bear arms shall not be infringed period the right to life you have the right to life. It means that somebody needs to protect you before you're born. And if we don't sign a constitution like we have, sign a constitution saying that we will protect you before you're born because you have the right to life or else someone will be prosecuted, we're not a real, real Christian country. We're kind of an evil country if we continue this. We need to stop this. We need to stop people like Governor Northam. And by the way, Democrats, if you're a minority, are not your friend. In fact, the Democrats were the party of slavery. Just remember that when you see Governor Northam in his picture. They can't remember if he was the blackface or if he was the KKK. And Christianity Today, yeah, like I said, was founded by Billy Graham. His son has denounced it. Now all the great magazines like the New York Times, the Washington Post, CNN, they all love Christianity Today. It's almost like they're Christians now because... Christianity Today, by the way, if you think your allies who perpetuate hatred and false news all the time, you have those as your allies, then you're probably one of them. So Christianity Today, not an ally of the unborn. Stop buying the magazines, stop even patronizing them at all. The person who, believe it or not, is the biggest proponent of pro-life is President Trump. I didn't quite like him when I voted for him, but I thought, well, he's better than the witch Hillary Clinton. Um, did I say that out loud? Sorry, I didn't mean to say that out loud. You can keep that. Um, anyway, but he has this tenacity to do what he says he's going to do. Like, he's not a saint, but he's my president. And he's the first president ever to attend the March of Life. 
nominated two constitutional judges, and he's trying to bring prayer back to school. Beth Moore, Mitt Romney, are not. Beth Moore and Mitt Romney are trying to allow your children, the children of this country, to be killed. Mostly black children, minorities, and Spanish and Latino children, and Asian children. Uh, that's the majority of the people who are being aborted. And that's who you're, you're with. If you put Governor Northam and Romney and Beth Moore together, you know, you think Trump is racist, then where are they going with this? Anyway, I, uh, I applaud President Trump for going to the March for Life, and I didn't like him at first, but he's grown on me, and he is our president, and he's fighting for the right to life, which is a constitutional right, by the way. So, who would be a choice to take um, Trump's place if you're going to impeach somebody? Oprah? Would Oprah be a choice to take his place? I remember Oprah watching her saying that she can't believe in an all-powerful God that, you know, kills men, women, and children. She can't believe in an all-powerful God that has wrath and a wrathful, jealous God. So she doesn't believe in God anymore. I don't know who she believes, what her God is. But anyway, if you don't believe in God, I guess um, aborting babies isn't a big thing for you. So, yeah, I'm not going to have Oprah as her president. She's been living with this guy for so long, Stedman, and you know, they're not getting married, and she doesn't have any kids, or at least I don't think she has kids. I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe she has. But I don't think she's the person to replace Trump. So who else would replace Trump? Pope? Is a Pope going to replace Trump? He calls the fundamentalist Christians... Um, a terror to the world. Fundamentalist Christians are a terror to the world. This is the Pope of the Catholic Church calling people who actually believe in the Bible akin to terrorists. Yeah, I don't think the Pope's going to do it. Plus, he's not American anyway, but I just use him as an example. Uh, what about um, Mr. Kissy Joe Biden? Would he be a good example? Would he be a great person to stand up for the unborn? Creepy Joe Biden? Really? Yeah, whatever. What about Nikki Haley? Okay, yeah. Maybe in a future period, but right now she's kind of taking a, taking a hiatus. But um, yeah, she'd be a good replacement, I think. Maybe look for Nikki Haley to try to run for president in the future. But Nikki Haley supports the unborn. Um, president who does what he says, he'll do. Okay, so President Trump said that he was going to nix the climate accord, and he did. Uh, he said he's going to make better trade deals, and he did. He said he was going to build a wall, and he did. He said he was going to talk to Kim Jong-un, and he did. He was going to get our people out of war after war after war. He got us out of Syria. He's in the process of getting us out of Iraq, and he's trying to get us out of Afghanistan. We've been there for far too long fighting George Bush's war. Anyway, uh, the, the other thing he said he was going to do is going to defend the life of the unborn. And he's doing that. So you can listen to CNN, you can listen to MSNBC, or all the other news media, the BBC, all these people. But he's actually doing what he says he's going to do. And if he's for protecting the unborn, I know everything about him that I need to know. If Governor Northam, Oprah Winfrey, Joe Biden, and whoever else I mentioned, Mitt Romney, Beth Moore, are not for protecting the unborn by not supporting the president, then they're not really Christians. Um, those who support abortion, and I'll just say this flat out, you are not a Christian. You are not a Christian if you support killing a baby when it's still in the womb. I'm sorry. You can go ahead and be mad at me. It's true. So, it's obvious now that there are churches and evangelicals who are definitely not protecting the most innocent life. But, you know what? If you think they're good to go, do it thou will. Violet Eberly Garcia Lindley Astoria Terra Hooper Vargas Sally Anna
Latrina Perdida. Estasia Bebe. Evan Randall. Joanna Irina. Stoney Francis. Lemuel Amal. Charles Lewis. Gloria Candida. Corey Alexander. Darcy Michelle. Danielle Tiffany. Chessy Tario. Sechan Lee. Brianna Safrina. Katie Karen. Sylvia Molina. Marlena Mandy. Louisa Marnia. Rachel Olivia. Miguel Nestor. Kika Natasha. Lamar Nathaniel. Lamont Teshan. Lakery Shimona. Galadriel Lancine. Adam Lucas. Maurice Leighton Vincent. Aileen Rowena. Angelina Cleo. Selena Sajida. Zenith Abida. Carlos Leon. Kiera Tony. Sonia Beverly. Yoshi Avery. Yasso Benjamin. Alia Marissa. Chandra Trina. Farah Justine. Rowan Willow. Guacho Manuel. Effie Lou. Jeremiah Zeppi. Roberta Zorba. Leah Morgan. Mitchell Carlos. Naomi Vala. Carlissa Mini. Thomas John. Ebersol. Dupreece Nicole. Carolyn Jana. Doe Seattle. Harper Gemini. Edwina Stella. Ursa Majory. Marjorie Tina. Arthur Henry. Jody Penelope. Bolivia Mindy. Samuel Miguel. Jayanna Ella. Laura Wiley. Cora Felicia. Skylar Ashley. Sky Winona. Kirk Nicholas. Michaela Christine. Fatima Carsi. Lehman Stewart. Wendell Eric. Carmen Elizabeth. Trudy Laana. Hannah Heather. Marcus Stanley. Narcissa Veronica. Madeline Uli. Cambridge Evelyn. Juliaqua Laney. Yvonne Rebecca. Julio Pavel. Darnell Kishan. Brandy Della. 
Arlo Riley, Amy Lobelia, Rosalie Marna, Sonami Misty, Brent Ulysses, Atlas Bendham, Alexi Ryan, Stacy Dora, Dorothy Dottie Rita, Janet Shannon, Troy Hamilton, Zani Joe, Clement Aretz, Lalina Nicasol, Nani Patterdell, Asa Hugh, Masina Rosa Mary, Bobby Cayley, Andrew Momar, Kelsey Danita, Kiko Gawa, Barbara Aaron, Suki Sheila, Lenora Hazel, Dina Ella May, Winston Erhard, Daniela Isley, Hawthorne Zanner, Galen Lillian, Haas Bosco. Thank you for watching week 29 of Name Them. Please help us name them, and God bless. See you next week.